Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Democracy Free. And, uh, yeah, in the last episode, we tried to, uh, well, do something about the deficit. We are in a deep recession. The market, the whole world market crashed uh, right now. Um, it seems that we are in a deep recession. And so that, yeah, the GDP is low, meaning we don't get enough money. So that's why we have a deficit. So we're trying to invest as good as we can um, into our, well, economy and hope that it, well, does better. Oh, sorry. Actually, I'll off the window there for a second. Okay. Religious plot. Yes, I know that religious people want to kill me. Yes, cyber warfare is now at an end. Finally. Uh, I was waiting for that because that will boost our GDP a little bit. See? Bam. I mean... Also, technology grants and the foreign investor tax breaks and cyber warfare helps out a lot there. And we have a deficit of 44 billion. Frick, yeah. <sighs> Still a deep recession. 91% of the voters would vote for us. That's, that's awesome. A proposal has been put forward to construct a major toxic waste dump in our country. The facility will be very large, potentially creating many jobs in its correct construction but there are concerns about its effect on the environment why would I allow a toxic waste dump let's build that in another country <laughs> on the moon by the way why don't we have a space program we should have a space program can we have a space program I think we can I don't know I've seen it once Oh, we can have stem cell research. Well, uh, that takes a lot of political research. Um, uh, faith school subsidies, school prayers. No, we don't want all of these things. None of these, please. Organ donation. There are a few who would disagree that organ transplant is an amazing technology, but it requires a plentiful supply of donors. Sadly, many people do not give the topic consideration. Um, so there's an opt-out policy idea. Um, I personally think it's not the worst idea ever. Um, I'm not really sure. Basically, the idea is that if you're in an accident and your organs and your I don't know, brain dead and your organs are still usable um, and you didn't say you're not an organ donor, then you will donate your organs. So you actually have to say I'm not an organ donor instead of saying I am an organ donor. So... I think that personal preference also has something to do with religion in this case sometimes. It's, for some people, it's odd. But I personally think if, if you don't feel strongly enough about saying no to it, then um, there's no... <laughs> it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, if you feel strongly about not doing it, then you can opt out. It's probably just sending a form or so or having a card. I don't know. Airline tax. I'm sorry. I went on a tangent there. Um, I'm going to reduce the airline tax. I know the environment doesn't like it, but I'm boosting the GDP. Um, and we are having a look at that. Yes, the race rides are going down. Good, 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 good. First things are happening. Ghettos are slowly moving down. Um, what else can we do? Foreign relations. Um, they are deteriorating a little bit. We should invest a little bit. I know we don't have a lot of money, but we need to improve those. Supply changes, yes. I really need to get rid of these race rides. They're affecting tourism, they're affecting our GDP. Uh, it's bad. It's just bad. By the way, what about prostitution? Interesting. If I legalize it, then the GDP goes up. <laughs> Actually, by a whole point. Wow, that's a lot, actually. Considering the size of the country. Religious people won't like it. Conservatives won't like it either. Uh, maybe another time, but I will save up some political capital. Okay, I should maybe have a look at the security briefing. Um, Crusaders of the Lord. Oh, yeah, they seem to be quite angry. Okay. What else we had? Media backlash. What? One of our country's most popular newspapers has launched a major campaign criticizing your policies. Well, they can suck it. 88% are still behind us, so 
Phew. Okay, the GDP stayed there. That's good, I think. Hmm. Um, making high number of specific threats against the government. I hope they don't kill me. I hope they don't. It's currently running a budget deficit of 16 billion. Okay, that's much better. That's it's not good, but it's much better. So, um, can we? What did I? I wanted to do something that I couldn't change because I had not enough income. Oh yes, I wanted to reduce some costs, and I'm pretty sure it was state health or pensions. Um, state school tells health service. Uh, okay, this state schools is actually extremely high. I feel like reducing that a little bit. Um, considering it's not that much. Um, if we just move it down a little bit. You know what? You know what? It's important to keep investing into education. To stay at the edge. Something along those lines. That makes sense. Um, well, a petrol tax. We could... Wait. Actually, we should totally increase that. Yeah. That gives us a shit ton of money. 8 billion. We're gonna go with... Uh, motorist car usage is going down. That is fine because that will help the environment. 45%. Um, can actually go to 50 and we'll hit the GDP a little bit. Motorist membership will go down. Motorist will go down. Car usage. That's fine because we put so much friggin' money into our rails. I mean, it's maximum. And uh, our buses. And we subsidize school buses. So I hope they use it, actually. Um, uh, I should increase that as well. I know I don't have enough cap capital. I know, I know, I know. We got this. We got this. No problem. So let's see how this turns out. By the way, religious people, how many are there? 1.2 a million. We need to get rid of all these people because they're trying to kill me. I don't want to die. Uh, okay, return to government. Yes. I wish I could do something about that. Brain drain, a new situation has developed. What? Texas encouraging best and brightest entrepreneurs. Uh, Entrepreneurs to leave the country altogether and make money elsewhere. Uh oh. As a result, we're losing both on their knowledge and skill, also the potential tax revenue from their companies because of the luxury goods tax. Ew. Well, then let's cancel that. Uh, let's have a look at this. Um, yeah, that's definitely not worth it. We need the people in here. Um,. Uh, did I cancel it now? Yes. Um, the income tax. So, income tax. Let's reduce that one, I'd say, a little bit. Wow, no. No, 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 no. Revert changes. I'm not gonna touch that. People are not complaining. It's brain drain. That moved up because of the luxury tax. That should be gone now, so they please come back. We have only... Oh, we have a small surplus, actually. Though the economy is still in a deep recession, the global one. Perfect. One of our cabinet ministers needs to talk to you. Working as transport minister, tired of serving in your government and may wish to leave their position and possibly politics together. Ha. Huh. Well, maybe. Euthanasia. Um, yes, legalize. I don't even need to read that. Suffering from terminal disease, living in constant severe pain. Yes. You don't need to keep people alive in a coma for years. There's no reason to do that. Okay, good. Brain drain. Um, I hope that goes down. That was a stupid idea to do the tax. That's hurting the GDP. And our productivity if they're gone. We wouldn't want that, would we? Good, 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 good. So... Let's go to the next quarter. What happened? I, what is... I I don't understand a word. Egalitarian miracle. We may not all look alike or sound alike, but under your leadership we now all feel equal with our fellow man, woman, other. And isn't that the most important thing? 
Oh, okay, so I assume... I know you're trying to kill me. Um, is that because everything's equal now? 94% pull rating, wow. And the race rides are now under control. Wow, cool. Shouldn't that boost? Okay, that's brain draining and the race rides. That should boost, I thought. Come again, hunger strike. A convicted terrorist has gone on hunger strike demanding he be allowed visits from people though to be associated with terror groups. We do not have the evidence to arrest his colleagues and we are currently banning all visits from this prisoner. But it looks like he will go through with his hunger strike threat and may as well die in a cell. Um, so he is a convicted terrorist and other terrorist friends want to see him. Uh, love visits. We might do not like this man or what he stands for, but we cannot allow him to die in a cell. Doing so would only reduce us to the level of the terrorist and would also certainly make a martyr out of him. We should let him have visitors. Um, you do not negotiate with terrorists. Hmm. That's true. Oh my god, that's a, uh, that's a tricky one. I don't want to... Well, he goes on a hunger strike, but I will not give in because these people are associated with terror groups. Nope, prevent visits. I'm sorry, not gonna happen. Ah, I wish I had more information sometimes. Ah, the GDP is going down, 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 down the drain. Okay, let's see if we can do something about that. Let's say by. Hmm. Let's say by. Okay, show me what does the GDP. How does it get affected? Right. Oh, the brain drain is still active. Yes, I forgot. Pollution controls and airline taxes. I think we could reduce airline taxes a little bit. And yeah, there we go, 20%. It's not much, I know. But let's see if we can boost the economy with a uh, policy. A space program would boost the level of technological expertise throughout the entire economy. Uh, unite the country and encourage patriotism. Yeah, but it's expensive. Um, wait, we don't have consumer rights? Huh. At the expense of businesses. Um, another time. Space program. Woohoo! I like a space program. I like me a space program. Satellites. Uh, oh, all those things. Unmanned probes. Reusable shuttles. Space station. Fuck yeah! Germany needs a space station. Absolutely. No question about that. Oh, religion does not like that? What a shame. Unemployment goes down and everything goes up through it. <laughs> well, I better not do it because we want more religious people. Fuck progress, right? Hmm. Technological advancement? Nah. <laughs> we don't need that. Let's stone people. Sorry. No intention there. Okay. Now we got a space program. Isn't that cool? Okay. Let's continue. Wha wow. I get achievements on us. Poverty eradicated. Nobody cheers as loud for you as those people who have braced out of poverty in your triumphant mission to rid the curse of poverty from our country. Well done. Um, wow, it's really low, actually. Wow, that went well. Um, the GDP still goes down. Um, wow, the, the economic forecast is really bad. So, global econ- Oh, fuck, that took a plunger there. That's not even- That's ridiculous, look at that. I want- <laughs> I'm surprised that we only have a 30 billion deficit. Oh my god. Someone played with stocks again. And something went terribly wrong there. At least we have some reserves. Okay. Brain drain. How long is that gonna last? Uh, it's gonna take like a few more turns, I guess. Nothing we can do about that. Uh, well, let's just wait. There we go. What does my religious friends, what do they say? 1.55%. 1.2 million of those people. How many capitalists do we have? 60% and they hate me. 
They really do hate me, 60% capitalists. But still, I'm the most popular person ever for them. I mean... I'm not... Well, I'm boosting the economy where I can. I don't know why they are so angry at me. Just, you know, you can't make everyone happy. But only two red groups. So that's something, right? Okay, enough. Let's continue. Oh, wait, someone wanted to leave, right? Someone wanted to leave. It was you and you, right? Reshuffle the cabinet. Fires everyone in the cabinet and returns them to the list of available ministers for reassignment. This costs some political capital. Yeah, I thought so. Well, then let's do that. You know what? We're gonna do that. Okay, foreign policies. We're gonna start with that and hire someone for that. Yo, foreign policies. Who wants to do that? Uh, foreign policy. I wish I could sort by uh, how people like, um, how loyal they are or how experienced they are. Anyway, Niels Hahn is gonna be our guy for foreign policy. Welfare. Let's hire someone for welfare. Not you. Um, welfare, welfare. Mark Zomar. Yeah, why not? Um, doing quite the well job. Economy. That's gonna be interesting. Okay, economy. Who wanted to do economy here? You, you're quite loyal actually. Oh, no, you're better. You're really loyal. And, uh, yeah. That looks good. Taxation! Who wants to do tax? Nobody wants to do tax. That's a shitty job. A really shitty one. And why do I only have like 10 ministers or so? It's ridiculous. They're all not very loyal to me, which is somewhat annoying. You could, you could think that they are more loyal persons since I have like a ginormous party that half of the population are part of, or even more. Anyway, for tax. Um, well, you're really good. And, well, you can't have it all. Public services. Well, loyalty. You're not very experienced yet, but you're gonna learn. Law and order, law and order. What about Stephanie Heinrich? Yes, let's hire her. Transport, no biggie. <sighs> that was really necessary, considering. Uh, uh, no. Uh, you don't want to do it. You know what? Well, no. <laughs> they don't really give me a good boost. Transport 2.4, 2.4. They're not gonna like it. Well, you do like commuters, so you can do transport. I'm gonna hire you, my friend. Good, I think this should somewhat work. Good, 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 good. Now we get 26 again per capita. Yeah, uh, per, per turn. Good. <clears throat> so... Why is the unemployment going up? Oh, yes, right, because of a global recession. That is basically destroying my whole economy. GDP. This is still... Okay, it's moving slowly up, as you can see down here. The global economy. Uh, okay, our reserves are at the end. Next turn, we won't have any <clears throat> money left, and we have to go into debt again. That, that sucks. That really does suck. You know what? Where's our alcohol? Ta where's the alcohol law? <laughs> alcohol consumption is by the alcohol law. There we go. You know what? We are gonna increase alcohol consumption again. Because that will give us more money. And, well, liberals will like it. And the youth will like us more. Violent crime will go up. But since we have a really good police force and it's really low, I hope hope it's not an issue. I hope it won't be an issue. Let's see if we can do something, if we can uh, have some policy ideas. Capital gain taxes. Well, it's a tax levied on non-salary income such as stock market profits and share dividends. Oh yes, this is going to happen. This is going to happen. 12 billion per quarter? Yes. 
absolutely please. If you're making money on the stock market while everyone crashes, you pay some money for that. Well, it's not that much. 25% for everything made on a... That's actually quite a lot from selling property or other assets. Eh, 25% is not that little, but... I wonder if, if it's double tax then, if it's capital gain and income, or if that doesn't fall on the income. That would be interesting to know, but for now we're gonna do that. And I know that capitalists are not gonna like it, socialists are liking it apparently. And the GDP is going down with that. GDP is already down. Eh, we're doing it, we're doing it. Hoping that uh, it'll help out a little bit. At least the quality feeling will be there. Can we do something to make the people happy that is not very expensive? Let's say public libraries, nah. Healthcare, nah. Art. Youth club, sub youth club subsidies. What would improve that? Uh, it can be resented by some wealthier taxpayers who see it as unnecessary expense paid by their taxes. Stay out of trouble, reduce the incidence of street crime. Well, let's implement that. I have no problem with youth clubs. Um, we don't have to give them a lot of money. Uh, let's go with 200 million, just a little bit. Um, reduces crime, parents are happy, youth is happy, um, and the youth has a little bit more income. For whatever reason. Good. So what... Oh, fracking? 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 Hydraulic fracturing, better known as fracking, is a new drilling technology that allows energy companies to exploit previously unreached little deposits of shale gas. The technique is relatively new and requires the government to give permission to use. On the one hand, it opens up potentially huge supplies of energy. On the other hand, there are serious environmental concerns about the process, like... Um, numbers dangerous. Not at least the possibility that it's linked to earthquakes and the very real danger of contaminating the water supply as it involves pumping huge quantities of dangerous chemicals into the rock at very high pressures. Plus, just another way to perpetrate... Hmm... Nah, let's ban it. Why not? Wow. The deficit. What? what happened to the deficit? All of a sudden it changed. Because I did that. I'm confused. I don't know. Okay. Yes, I know. They're trying to kill me. The religious people are trying to crucify me. But the deficit still in a deep recession. Oh my god. Ah. Oh. I don't have I don't have the nerves to deal with a corporate manslaughter bill now. Look at Well, it's going up a little bit thanks to the capital gains tax. What? That should have affected us negatively. Well, maybe it's going up, so it's something. I do need to see the forecast. Yeah, it's slowly moving up. I think we're gonna have some golden time in front of us. Um if the economy comes back, we will prosper. We will be fine. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, give it a like. I hope I see you in the next one. My name is Weasel. I'm out. And I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.